towards A. And Fnatic right now are doing well fake to teleport. fake that out. A gate crash being faked, players being drawn over, and Fnatic Crazy. are taking space away from the defense. They just walked straight in. Yeah. Alfier against his former teammate. A line that I think we're going to be bringing up a lot throughout this I one. Quit. You even saw on socials as well, Durka before this saying like, go oh, on Mystic, you know, just pull one over them, even though he's just <laughs> left the team. But a friendship, a friendly rivalry, now into post. Fnatic set up quite nicely. They've got a trap to try and push through on this retake here. Focus, want to get explosive out of the choke. It's the aftershock and the reveal that are going to cause issues for Fnatic now though. Big f bots and maybes. Lewis, who usually played on the flash initiator, now playing on the intel, the info, right? And he's already got things off the mark, but still there's delay coming through, and Spike is starting to tick away here. Oh, Alpha oh, starting oh, to collect oh, heads, and so are yeah. Fnatic. But here is Alarante now trying to make his mark. He is weighing up two of the VCT oh, veterans, but ends up getting cut down himself by Alpha. No Double tap online. That's the first time I think we've seen his ult actually miss. So a moment longer before Fnatic call for this execute. 19 seconds, Kayak already out on A. He needs to make sure that he has control of the site and can't get picked off as a... Ten seconds. There won't be too much pressure coming his way, fortunately, for the youngster. Cage up from Chronicle allows for the cross. You've got a player towards Graffiti now, and it's Alphia watching the flank. The thing is, though, has that Focus have all the utility. They haven't mid-rounded. They have everything that they need to come back into this one. Just waiting, perhaps, for Hoodie Stun to come back up. And as soon as it's online, the paranoia comes through in tow. They're right into the site. Reveal on the corner. Chronicle spotted, but Sayonara still with one, and he's found an extra before he drops. Sus at the double. On to Sayonara now. Can the online beast turn up the heat on we'll Double dip this. Peering down the looking glass of Lobby. No and it's more trade. If you go and hit C, you have to take garage control and force the issue. Poster from the spectator screen, but he's starting to run out of chess pieces to work here. Chronicle at the double. Oh, Chronicle. Three for him in garage now. A little more life injected to Fnatic. Sus still hitting shots on this operator, though. He made heretics pay earlier. And he'll continue to deliver bad news as it's another clutch for Sayonara. Exactly. The person that you want to be in this scenario, Heiser. He's out in the open, though. And Zus will thrive in this kind of environment. Brilliant off angle. 5 HP. Focus chasing Fnatic out of a lobby and towards Zus's op. He's so good at just these quick glances and picking up a frag. And like I said, Bosa's the first one down here, but Fnatic still, with an idea of what they want to do, they managed to take control of the B site. Smoke dropped as a blocker and focus. Already in C link, ready for this retake. Contingency plans after contingency plans, but you can't really have a plan for Zus's operator. Three players are left to hold towards B, and two of which are actually on the site, making things easy for Zus to get the kill as he stunned players up, but still Fnatic persists. Somehow, Kayak out, and now Chronicle sits at the back of site, and he's taken out now. Alarante is already dead, so the alarm bot is gone, missing from Garage. Chance for the walk around from Kayak, and the reveal is huge. Tap of the spike, Kayak comes through and gets the pick he's looking for. Two reposition from Zus, but when Fnatic freeze in positions like this, usually able to find a way back around. Focus then look to other aspects of the map, and Focus are really lenient in terms of using these ultimates, yeah. right? And, and, but I really like that call as well, because Mystic will have heard the cue of the drone. Yeah. So he said, okay, they're droning from outside window. Uh, as soon as Lewis hears that, he goes for the ult. Unlucky not to find anything, and Mystic is forced to give it up eventually. But looking at it right now, Fnatic uh, sat behind where the barriers drop. Focus have three players towards B. This is somewhere Fnatic have gone often in the late round, but with 30 seconds left, you can see the posture is more on the right side now. Left. I really like this from Fnatic, right? It, it looks as if they're going to try and take the space that Focus really didn't want them to have by investing those ultimates. They'll use the dimensional drift and completely fake out towards A. Yeah, I love this. Boaster has been calling a few of these fakes where he'll run in, try and make as much noise as possible and have Kayak with him. He TPs away. We saw the same on Abyss, it worked out brilliantly for them. And with three seconds to spare, if that, the spike, spike will planted. drop on the opposite side of the map. And then you're retaking with sheriffs and pistols. The fact that you've got a set post plant, these rifles will be so much better. Garage control is a big benefactor for Fnatic right now. 
Focus split in their approach as well, but Sayonara finds himself sat in amongst all of it. Mystic, how is he oh. not expecting it? Oh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There are the sheriffs, and it's not the name that you would have thought in the feed, but still, Mystic walking away with one. Hoodie dismissed behind the crate. Time is of the essence. Focus don't have much to play around with here. Another undercut and the flash coming through. Edge of the smoke. Oh. Alarante is sticking this, no and there's way. a damn good shot. No way! <laughs> Steal the round away! That should bring themselves towards the seaside, knowing that uh, where their KG utility is, and even maybe getting a bit more known where KG is exactly. Very direct from Fnatic. Alpha straight into the open arms of Hoodie. Back towards us, the op trained on this angle. TP passed it, and Chronicle threads the needle. A brilliant shot from the Cypher player, and with the spike going down, the trap in play. The cage on top and Kayak waiting eagerly outside of Garage. It's an even more difficult task for Focus this time. Oh, and who did get that pick with the lockdown going down? Gives a little bit of sustenance to this, right? The lockdown gets destroyed. I don't know exactly how it did, but at the same time, Hoodie has to go into a two versus one against Chronicle and Sayonara. Two kills deep with two more left to find. Yeah, 100. Alo. Feeling the pressure coming through, and he's you always and good me. for a 1v1. That's Alpha has his ult. Yep. And up against your boy Lewis, and oh. Lewis doesn't even stand a chance. I say that because I think it's the first time that Alpha's actually connected the kill contract so yeah. far, but he'll sign on the dotted line, and with Sayonara right behind, no issues at all. Boast was in spawn. He does TP across for good measure. And with that, the spike can be safely ferried onto the C site once more. Yeah, I'd actually love to see how successful Alpha is on the kill contracts overall, right? That would be a nice statistic to cut to have. Yeah. Hoodie, on the other hand, how successful is he going to be up against Sayonara? Well, there's your answer. Not spike successful planted. at all. And Zuss is left all on his own once again. I don't want to say that the writing is on the wall with this time. Kind of you're going to see Hoodie here just because you're that rotate player as the breach with the utility. But at the same time, you kind of expect that from Zus just because of the speed at which he can find new positions and already down to bottom mid just using the shift key. He had the info, but not the shots to Chronicle's direction. 100%. It's a little bit of a trap being put out here. Don't think they quite caught anything, but here comes the raid boss. Alpha once again knows that he has to clear a shot and does so successfully. Brings back up that shield, but how did he for the first time has actually been able to best him? Oh, Hello? There you go. Rolling Thunders, and he fancies this, and Aloe's there to get red and put the spike down on the ground. Fortunately, Kayak did have his TP, so he's managed to get back towards long, and now there's a pinch coming in. Can focus, evade the vice grip. He's Mystic. playing. Maus is the longest team that he's ever spent any time in. So it is a little bit different now. Ooh. But more of the same from Fnatic in the pistol to shut down this B play. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, focus, I've got a chance to come away with two good VODs. Well, they might be coming away a little bit quicker as Chronicle has been so quick off the mark. Hoodie's trying to get that spike towards the seaside to at least get it down and give them something to work with. In fact, there's this round to work with, actually, after those two quick kills. Hoodie has been doing brilliant work so far, and I guess that's where you draw the line in the divide with VCT talent and Challengers yes. talent. Hitting the stage so many times in Berlin across the last two years with Giants and GX. Two versus three. Seconds left. The VCT old guard against two of the new boys and their mentor. <laughs> Over to A is where they go. Sayonara, the first one there, has the reveal as proactivity is being wagered <laughs> elsewhere. Sayonara won't want to give an engagement, right? He'll be looking to play Ooh. slow. He is very, very left. low. And you'll hear the spike going down and calling for everyone to head his way. I get a shock in though, and that's won the round, Koru. That's, crazy, that's all it was. That's I was just about crazy. to say, like, really you know he has it. It's looking pretty bleak for Focus to have around. They're trying to keep things in close quarter engagements, and that's where the Bucky will thrive. And we're actually Mystic's Ghost Bill as well. 
Yeah. Two nice kills for Focus to take, but can they hold on to the B site with a limited weaponry? The range also limited on this Bucky. That's where you want to get up in their face. Missed shot, but the second will land, as will the third. I mean, that's the problem, right? It's scoped weaponry up against close quarter weaponry. You want to try and keep they can it. They keep bank rolling guns as long as this one is still a possibility to be won, but Chronicle wants an early bedtime. Mystic does eventually put Sayonara to sleep. It's probably past his bedtime by now anyway. <laughs> Breaks for a four on four, and now the mid-duel can ensue. I mean, you see mid-duel, uh, it's like a phantom duel, right? It's uh, cold. Yeah. Nothing really haven't happening head on. There's a trap here. Oh. Alpha being baited for. Alo will not check. Runs in like a headless chicken. The jewels that you can take as ISO in this position. Oh, nice. His best highlight of the year coming from there. Kayak with a quick click. He is out. Hoodie on the trade. Still numbers Fnatic. Undercut was perfect. Chronicle in the site though, Hazard. He needs to try and get a pack, but he's found. He heard all the steps. But Hoodie using that as a distraction instead. Paranoia keeps them back, can't capitalize from the Matrix in front of them. The contingency wall to get them out. It needs to be clean shots from Alpha, but he's certainly gonna be thinking about the spam. Bang to the gong, Hoodie is gone. Mystic in the clutch against his two former teammates at the time he played on the team. And he's on the bounce, but Fnatic meet them with a buy of their own. Oh, and what a shot from Kayak to start it off. Double dink as he fades away. It's one of the two duelists gone. That's it. Hoodie yeah. though has the roll on Thunder as well. That's online for the attack to execute into. Chronicle has been pinged out, but he's managed to escape the utility and then towards a pocket and back sight. Let's have this trap. It does finally get broken. And with the aftershock in mind, the spam is calculated. Hoodie. Profiting off the back of his own utility. Focus has, in position. Has a, the back lines here. Alpha is knocking on the door. Focus need to be wary and they're not looking the right direction. It's a shooting gallery. Now the shield up, he's looking for more, but Focus have somehow managed to alleviate the pressure. Wall does give him the cross, new angle, fresh perspective. Same result, Alpha another kill. Runs out of the double what? tap, he's still going! Alpha, yeah, with the ult. No Mystic's in the corner. They uh, won't make that mistake in the 2v1 this time. Body on the ground, Sayonara's just got to hit the shot. That's if Alpha... Sus, making his way through. KC with the same kind of split play earlier. <laughs> the issue is that one actually worked out for them. He has been dispensed of by Kayak and back in a LAN environment. He's looking hot to drop. Having played only one official there in